right, shalom, shalom, everybody. It's uh, Canope with another major seed alert coming live from Transplant Tuesday, Sacramento, California, at the Yisrael Family Urban Farm. So uh, usually we get a lot of video, a lot of, a lot of uh, inbox messages and things about different things that people want to do. And one of the main things that we talk about is how can I grow food in a small space even if I don't have access to some land. And so I'm going to go over a little bit today about container gardening and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about asparagus. So uh, before we go ahead and get started, uh, don't forget to tell us where you are looking from and don't forget to share this video out uh, because this is going to be some valuable information about container gardening. So of course, when you talk about container gardening, you don't really want to get, uh, you don't really have to overthink it. A container is a container. If, it, if it's something that you can put some soil in and it's got a proper place for you to be able to have some air, I mean some water to be able to drip out of it, holes in the bottom, then it's something that you can grow food with. What I'm gonna use today is one of my favorites, uh, which is a half wine barrel. This particular wine barrel, barrel is a little bit deformed, but it's still gonna work. Um, you can usually get these from somewhere like Home Depot for a certain amount of, for you know, however much you can buy them at Home Depot. But before you get ready to use these, there's a couple of things that you have to do. And I'll show you what those are. First, if you look at it, um, it doesn't have any holes in the bottom. So that presents a problem. So if there's a big rain or you put a lot of water in it, what will happen is the water will get logged at the bottom and uh, it will eventually cause what's called anaerobic decomposition. If anybody's done compost before and you get that smelly smell, it smells nasty, almost like uh, something is, is dying or something like that. This was called anaerobic composting. So anyways, to stop that, we're gonna have to drill some holes in the bottom. some holes in there so now the next step is once you get the holes in is you want to make sure that you have something on the bottom in this case I'm going to use some rocks some river rocks so the idea is that you're going to close the bottom so that you have a bottom here and the reason why is because you just want to make sure that as the water flows, the water can flow down through um, your next step there. So you got rocks in the bottom, you got some holes. So the next thing you want to do is you want to put this thing where you're going to put it. Because once you put soil in this, you are not going to be able to move this again unless you pick up everything. So now that I got that together, I've got some compost which I'm then going to just load it up. There you go. So in the case of today, I'm going to be planting asparagus. So these asparagus vines I had to dig up from somewhere because uh, they were in the way and I needed to move them somewhere else. And they look, almost look dead, but they're not. As you can see, they're starting to have stuff come out. So before I get ready to do that, I'm gonna just kind of throw these in here as so. Got a few more roots that I can put in here. If you have a space to where you're gonna be able to They can put these roots right where they are here and then my last step is to go ahead and cover them up with some soil but this can work for anything so if you want to put tomatoes in here usually you can put tomatoes in here you can put lettuce you can put eggplants 
And keep in mind, a, a wine barrel, there's a lot of space in a wine barrel. So two wine barrels, you could probably grow enough food for maybe two to three people in a wine barrel. So now, and I'll kind of push this up for everybody so you can kind of see it. So with asparagus, you have to cover them all the way up. So as you can see here, we've got it all the way covered. We've got this little piece growing up. Eventually the asparagus will start to grow. But as you see, you've got a lot of space that you can use to be able to grow some food here. Another thing that you can use these types of containers for if you have mint, as we know mint will take over anything that you grow. So you can use mint, like I said, tomatoes, peppers, eggplants. And this is how simple it is to be able to start growing your food today. You can get you a half wine barrel. Um, you don't necessarily have to go to Home Depot. Sometimes you can look on Craigslist or if you use Facebook, you can use Facebook Marketplace and get you a half wine barrel. Um, usually about 40, 50 bucks. I've seen them as low as $30 in some places. Don't forget to drill holes in the bottom. After you drill holes in the bottom, make sure that you have some layer of gravel or rocks at the bottom and then put in your soil, compost. Um, you can use potting soil. In this case, I'm using straight compost because over a period of time, um, it will start to decompose and turn into a nice growing medium. And then bam, there you go. I just transplanted some asparagus into a half of a wine barrel and this is going to be their new home. So one thing about asparagus, um, this, these asparagus have been grown for like two and a half or three years. So if you have the little tiny crowns that you buy, they're, they've got a little crown and then they probably got a few roots growing out of the bottom. You want to make sure that you let them grow, means don't cut them, for at least two to three years. That gives the root system enough time to establish itself. And then after about the third year, the fourth, fifth, and of course they'll grow for maybe up to 15 years or so. Um, you'll have some nice big asparagus that you'll be able to eat. Asparagus, they're only able to be, a, you're only, they're only ready probably about four to six weeks out of the year, starting right around this time of the year, maybe between March and, um, and um, April. Absolutely. Uh, of course, sometimes you can use. I happen to plant this right by the water hose. So whoever waters this front area out here, all they have to do is water it by hand. That's one way to do it. Um, the another way to do it is, I've, I also have an irrigation tube. There's an irrigation tube that's connected right here. It goes along the side here. It goes to this bed on the, on the front of the house. I can go off the side of that and then I can put a piece of drip tube that's in there to water it as well. Um, watering, that's a, that's a class all in itself because what I find with most people that are brand new gardeners, um, they either overwater or they underwater. Um, and watering is very important. Uh, well, um, just like I said before, um, asparagus, depending on when you plant it, it will sprout real quick. It'll sprout, it'll sprout really, really quick. But the point is, is that, um, and I'm talking about within like two to three weeks if you plant asparagus crowns. But even when it does sprout, you wanna let it go through its process. Like this here, um, even though it's small, it's starting, to, it's gonna grow and it's gonna, at some point it's gonna get bigger and it's gonna start flowering. Um, and you know, that's just the process that you have to do with it. Is like I said, you're gonna have to let it go through growing and its whole entire growth cycle for at least two to three years before you can start to, to to actually get any asparagus because you figure if this was ready to go this it would never get to this point what would happen is I would be cutting it off um, it's hard to explain but if you notice when you see asparagus in the, in the store you've got a long stock and then you've got like a little top on it that looks like a little crown right that little crown if left in the ground will expand and turn into this so once they start to grow and you start to harvest stuff to eat, then you're going to be cutting them before they even get to this point. 
Uh, asparagus is a perennial. Uh, what that means is you plant it one time and you continuously get a harvest over over its life cycle. So these asparagus here, under all you know perfect conditions or you know optimal conditions, this will continue to produce asparagus here for the next 10 to 15 years. Um, if you're going to put the leaves in here, you're going to put them in the soil. You're going to put them in the soil, mix them into the soil. Mm -hmm. But don't forget also, um, especially when you first get started, you probably want to do what's called mulching. Um, I usually do mulch of some sort. Um, you don't want to do it with asparagus, and the reason why is because you're going to have asparagus growing all over the place, so you're probably not going to mulch it. Um, but at the same time, if you're going to grow other crops, you probably want to put some kind of mulch, which you could use the leaves for. In this particular case of what you're growing with the asparagus, I would just mix it in. So thank you to this episode of Transforming Your Backyard Garden on Trans Transplant Tuesdays. And uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Shalom.